Hi there, this is Ryan here at Funk, and today we're going to be looking at how to fit the Ford Focus RS Turbo Blanket. These are both available in both carbon fibre and titanium like you see here. They both perform exactly the same, it's just the final skin that's different, just to give you a slightly different look. All of our Turbo Blankets today are based off of our Mark III Turbo Blanket construction. This has been specifically designed to increase durability and improve the insulation. These perform two to three times better than their predecessors, and Turbo Blankets are typically designed to reduce engine bay heat soak and in turn, increase reliability of the surrounding components and increase overall power efficiency. If you want to learn anything more about the Mark III Turbo Blanket, click the link above and we can go into that in a little bit more detail. Right now, let's get into how to fit this Mark III RS Turbo Blanket. Okay, so first up, let's have a look what's actually inside the packet. So first up, most importantly, is your product guide. This has got everything you're going to need in there, all the information that you're going to need about the turbo blanket and how they work. Uh, a th few other guidelines that may, need, may help you out. I thoroughly recommend reading this cover to cover before attempting installation. Also, another side note, you're going to receive some fastening springs, which I'll come to a little bit later, as well as a nice Funk Motorsport keyring. Obviously, the main part, of this and what the reason that you're watching this video is your Focus RS Turbo Blanket. As you can see there, it's custom to this turbo. You've got a much longer uh, top portion there, nice Funk Motorsport emblem and the appropriate cutouts to work around the, uh, the Focus RS Turbo, as you see here. Okay, so it's pretty easy to do. Um, I would thoroughly recommend that uh, you, know, you wear gloves if you've got sensitive hands or anything like that. You work in a well-ventilated area. Um, you know, this is a, one of the easier turbo blankets to fit from our range. If you look at some of the others, they may be a little bit more tricky. But first up, as always, you take your spring, and as you'll notice, it's got uh, two kind of eyelets on each end. And I always recommend fitting the hardest to fit sides first. Okay, so in our application, these two sides here are actually going to be the furthest points away on our turbo. So naturally, they're going to be the hardest to fit. You can either fit these by hand or by using a spring puller tool or a, um, a pair of pliers really easy. They fit on just like this, just like you see here. There you go, there was one. And the other one just on the opposite side, okay? And that will become a little bit clearer as to why we've done that a little bit later on, okay? So like I mentioned earlier, this large, this portion at the top here is much larger uh, than the piece around the side. And that there actually goes underneath the actuator arm. So you just start to begin to feed that underneath the actuator arm. It's very important that it does go underneath just so that we don't um, impede the uh, the motion of the actuator um, and therefore you're, content you're, you're, you're producing the correct boost levels as required from the factory. So begin to slide that all the way down and once that's cleared the actuator on quite nicely, like, like you see here, there, begin to uh, feed the back portion around the back of the turbo. You'll notice this sits quite nicely around the turbine housing. And um, one thing just to note is you just want to keep the core, like you see here, quite clear. You will notice you will have some oil oil or coolant return lines on there. Uh, so just you know, make sure you're just out of the way of those and the blanket will actually can intend to do its job and actually help to keep these cool or keep these cooler so they can, can do their job a little bit better. Okay, so it may, you may feel like it's sitting a little bit awkward for now, uh, but that should become a little bit easier. So first up, let me just turn it to the side just for now. You'll see it will begin to hold itself a little bit tighter once we've done all the springs up nice and tight. So first up, you've got the spring round here. Um, and I'll, like I say, I'll always try and start with the most difficult to, to reach ones, but just for this purpose, um, I'll start with the easiest to reach one, just so that you guys can see at home. It's the same process on the other side. Let's just simply take, uh, take the spring here from the lower portion, and then fasten that on top. And what you will notice as soon as you've, you've uh, secure one in place is it will want to pull around that way that's not a problem it's just that it shows that there's a slight imbalance there um, into in regards to tension so if i take the second spring now if i'll just show you just like this if i take the second spring and i secure that in place just like that and then again you'll see it's sitting slightly out of, out of uh, our proportions to how it should be sat but the main focus is that the blanket is kind of sat on the turbine housing and it's not getting in the way of anything important so the main important items are the actuator arm the um, the actuator itself and obviously the core as well so what we've tried to do here is to have enough cutouts uh, to work nicely around those sections there 
once you're happy with the fitment and it's sitting you know very smooth um around the around the turbo itself that actually means that the insulation inside is a is, you know most uniform throughout and therefore you're going to get the best insulation so just have a play with that you know there's no 100 percent right or wrong you know this isn't gonna you know whilst this is sitting on the table and the weight of the turbo is actually resting on it it's a little bit more difficult for myself but once this is on a on, on the engine you'll notice that you know you can definitely manipulate this a little bit better so there we have it. Really, really simple installation of the Focus RS um, turbo blanket. If you've got any other questions or you'd like to see anything else within our range, head us over at funkmotorsport.com and we'll be able to help you out.